I know I'm standing very still, but I'm not the statue you're meant to look at. Karim of the Silver Hand, the pirate with a golden heart. I told you I remembered him. Hey, Sherlock, I'm up here. Guess what I've found? A riddle, and it's about a treasure. Listen to this. What? John, you've surpassed yourself. Come on, Sherry. This is just like the old days. Sherlock and John on a pirate's treasure adventure. Salty breeze, old ruins, dusty roads. Do you recall clambering over these walls as a child? Perhaps. Did we find something at the top? So the treasure is real, but tell me, John, how did you even guess there would be something on top of the monument? Didn't I ever tell you about my psychic abilities? I should have. I even know where we ought to go next.
I always admire the way you notice such details. In such moments, I often recall Mother's voice teaching us of the importance of the smaller details. The world hangs on small hinges, John. Even the most chaotic miracle becomes sequential when you take a closer look. I'll remember. Wait, what? Is this Mother's magnifying glass? How did it end up here? What happened? Sherry, you really need to learn to let miracles happen. The whole world is one big, unresolved, chaotic miracle. But they will become sequential if you take a closer look. I do remember what Mother told us, but that explains nothing. Just let things happen, all right? Besides, this little miracle will look perfect in our manner, don't you think? Thank you. 